Hey YouTube bro, it's me Evelyn. The vibes is bad. <laughs> I'm good now. So go ahead and join this declutter challenge with me. We're going to declutter two very commonly disorganized, messy spaces that may be in your home. Two main things, where you keep your bathing suits, your thighs, your thigh eggs. I like it because it's a halter. Cute. This is almost gonna be 10 years old. This one is boobalicious. Let's talk about these. Poorly made. No, it ain't no Godzilla. It's that wagon that I'm dragging. Um, that's number one. Number two is wherever you keep your medicine. Somebody both, I know. I know, it's probably looking bad. We got penicillin mixed with the Pepto-Bismol. Antibiotics we didn't finish mixed with ashwagandha. It's just a lot. I bet it's a lot if you're anything like me. And so those are the two things we're going to declutter today. That's it. You know what I mean? No big overhaul. You don't need the weekend. But I hope this is helpful and at the very least a little entertaining. And you can go ahead and waste some time on the internet with me. I'm going to go get my uh, medicine cart. It's a cart. Okay, let's just begin. What did I tell you? What did I actually tell you? I was already getting overheated. Wardrobe change, just a quick wardrobe change. I need something to cover my bed with so I can just like dump stuff on there. Are you ready? Medicine cart. Okay, I'm just gonna take things out. Take everything out. Let's do it. And this is why you really need to be in the mood to do this because this is my bed. If I stop halfway through, I'm gonna be sleeping underneath Metamucil. I don't wanna do that. So if you start, make a promise to yourself that you're gonna finish. And we will finish. Clear it out. Done. Let me get a uh, let me get a uh, uh, yeah. Okay, I need to take a break. A must. It's not a want, it's a need. Dark chocolate. H2O. Let me show you what it's looking like at this phase. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The top shelf. It's up to you to decide how you want to organize things. But what works the best for me is like, what am I reaching for often? I don't want to have to dig. Like such as isopropyl alcohol, hydrogen peroxide, allergy meds, Austin. One thing you need to know about Central Texas, <laughs> Central Texas be having you scratching your throat. I had to pop a Zyrtec this morning. Guess what was in the, guess what was in the air? Guess. Mold. A little splish splash of Dayquil. We'll put that up here. Theraflu. Just like cold medicine. Cough medicine, the uh, bootleg version and the brand version, but they're both like a little bit in there. Do I dare? Do I dare? Oh, okay. Oh no. Expires June 2020. Where's the trash bag? Is it weird to depot a Pepto Bismol? <laughs> this second thing I think is gonna be for like vitamins. I know you're supposed to take vitamins regularly, so they should probably be up here. <laughs> but I don't. And things like this, a calming magnesium, vitamin C, emergency. Okay, iron. I hate these ones pressed powder, um, like tablets, so you can taste them. Uh, taste like blood, you know what I mean? Like you're licking a penny or something. I'm not going to consume these, but I feel bad. <sighs> what do you do? What was it all on the bedroom floor? Cause he ain't got no iron. Clear eyes. <laughs> what was that commercial? Red eyes, clear eyes. 
For me, I use this if I have come into contact with somebody's animal and I have, for whatever reason, lost my mind and touched my face afterwards. The fluffier the dog, the more I need this. So I'm gonna put this up here because I'll be looking like Will Smith off Hitch. Oh! <laughs> Ibuprofen. Oh, hell yeah! Hell yeah, I might pop one right now. Where do I put this? Should I put this with like vitamins? Yeah. Don't ask me, don't ask me. <laughs> Apple cider vinegar tablets. Why? I don't remember why. What do this do? Aleve. Do you remember that, um, was it Saturday Night Live? That Queen Latifah skit? Damn the copyright, let me play it right now. New Excedrin for racial tension headaches. Taking me from oh no you didn't to I wish a mother would. NyQuil. I hate these stupid little boxes. Take them all out the box. Out of the box. Out of the box. Our next category of product is muscle relief foam, bio freeze. You know what I mean? For the aches and pains. For the aches and pains of life. It doesn't happen often, right? It's like I don't think it needs to be up top. Should it be on the second? Or should it be on the third? I don't know, girly pop. Don't know why I brought it up, I'm moving on. COVID tests up top. G Abbott. As in Greg, H2O and Azo. Don't judge. 2025, 2025. It has a lot of tabs in it, so I'll keep it in the box. The box, this box doesn't annoy me. Yeah, second shelf. Ho. Oh. Let's take a breath. <laughs> Let's take a breath, we're losing our minds slightly. Oh yeah, the pulse oximeter. Let's see how much oxygen we got in our blood. Are we good? <laughs> Vitamin D. My, 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 my. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all, somebody stop me. One, two, three. One, two, three Vicks Vapor Rubs. Now this is why you declutter and why you periodically go through your things because how did this happen? In the moment you're like, dang, do we have Vicks Vapor Rub? Huh? Then you go buy one. Three bio freezes. Thermometer, top shelf. Okay, the case of the Band-Aids from Bucky's. Bucky's Band-Aids, take them out the box. Got regular Band-Aids, take them out the box. We got the bougie Band-Aids. They were just raw, just raw in the cart. There was a box. Y'all saw it, didn't you? You saw it. More Band-Aids. Just gonna stuff these in here. We have Band-Aids, everyone. No need to go buy Band-Aids. What the hell? Pillbox, easy vent. It's like you put your inhaler where the medicine comes out right here. And you do this. I don't know what this is for. The neti pot, like a knee brace. What is this? Is this a throw up thing? Nausea bag. It has measurements on it. Like, who wants to measure your throw up? I'm gonna throw this away. Cause the thing about it is, I feel like I have to justify it. If you need to throw up in this house, you're not running all the way to the coat closet to get out the car, do this, do this. <laughs> You're not doing that. We have plenty of other options for you. I think I'm gonna put all the equipment on the third shelf. Okay, we're decluttering and organizing, okay? Two separate tasks, but we're doing them at the same time. For decluttering, we're thinking through, is this expired? Do I need this anymore? Does it need to be trashed? Do I need to keep it? And then for organizing, we're thinking, where is the best place for this thing in my actual life? Not the life of somebody you saw on, on social media, not the life of you know your mom or your in-laws and what they do with their medicine. How do you use this item? And where's the best place for it according to how you use it? Where are we at? We're making progress, it doesn't feel like it though. Whoa, oh, 2019! You know, sometimes you be trying to like find hippy dippy solutions to things. Nothing do me quite like ibuprofen do me. 
know what I mean? Oh, this is a mysterious bag of medicine. Is this Adderall? We have somewhere to put all these other pills. Medicine cups, the little medicine measuring cuppy cups. How many do you realistically need? So I'm gonna throw away these like dingy plastic ones. Keep this. <sighs> Prescriptions. This is what is, um, I don't know if the word is ironic. I don't know, Bach ones, I don't know. But I'm looking at the expiration dates for like medicine, like over the counter medicine, like Dayquil. And I'm like, oh, expired. But if it, if it comes then uh, I'm more inclined to keep it. We're not even gonna address masks because like they shouldn't go on this cart. There's a whole other area for masks and mask related paraphernalia. So I'm gonna put these in the appropriate place. We're almost done. We're almost done. I like the big bottle. So I'm just put them in here. Top shelf. This, I can't show it on camera cause it's gnarly. This is my wisdom tooth. Oh my God. That was in my mouth. Oh, oh gee, internet cousins will recall the vlog where I moved down here. I had just gotten my wisdom tooth removed. I drank a booth for breakfast and extra for dessert. I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> should I put it back in the medicine cart or should I do witchcraft with it? <laughs> so is it weird that my tooth has been here? Possibly. But you're not gonna beat me up. You're not gonna beat me up. It's looking, it's looking, you know, it's looking how it look. Shall we move on? I'm struggling with getting rid of prescription meds. It says discard, but they just be saying that, right? It's not like it transforms into poison. Right? Do it. Do I get rid of these? Do I, do I get rid of these? If someone's a pharmacist, okay, okay. Pharmacist internet cousins, let me know and be for real. You might not want to put your, you know, your username, your, if it's your real name, you might, you know, be a little scary. Do I need to get rid of these or can I just use these the next time I have, you know, the particular issue? The next time my small intestine is like pop, pop, pop. Can I just use that next time? What if there's a next time? Oh no, is that being traumatized? <laughs> What if there's a next time? I can't let it go because what if there's a next time? I think we're kind of done. I think we're kind of done with this. Let me show you. This is our trash. And here is the before and after. 